Hi, my name is Faye and I'm a director at Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors. In today's video, we are going to be walking you through how to draft and serve a party wall notice. There are three types of party wall notices under the Party Wall Etc Act 1996 that you need to be aware of. A Section 1 notice, which relates to building on or at the line of junction or boundary. A Section 2 notice, which relates to work to an existing party wall, party structure or party fence wall. And a Section 6 notice, which relates to excavation work within certain distances of a neighbouring structure. We have several videos that go into greater depth on these notices, which you can check out on our YouTube channel. There is no prescribed or required format for your party wall notices, but you will find that many surveyors use standard forms and templates, which can help ensure the validity of a notice. A party wall notice must be served by the building owner, However, you can authorise a party wall surveyor to sign and serve your party wall notices on your behalf. A party wall agreement is only valid if formal written notice has been given and responded to. Without this, you cannot rely on the rights and provisions of the Party Wall Etc Act 1996. The dispute process can only be started if notices have been served. This is important if early works were negligent in some way and caused damage. Any dispute would have to be settled by the building owner as a matter of common law, which could end up being very expensive. Party wall notices should aim to enable your neighbours to understand your proposed construction works. Party wall notices must include the following key information, must include the name and address of the building owner, the person proposing to complete the construction works at their property, if there are multiple building owners, their names and addresses must be included of all building owners. The notice must be dated. This is important as your neighbour will have 14 days to respond to your notice. Ideally, you should include the date you propose to start your construction works. Remember, you need to give a minimum of one month's notice for works on or at the boundary and excavation works, and two months notice for works to a party structure. All building owners must sign the notice. And if you're serving under Section 6 of the Act, you must also provide plans and sections showing the depth, location and design of any excavation or foundations. However, we recommend that you provide drawings with all party wall notices to help your neighbour understand your proposals. The adjoining owner or occupier has 14 days to respond. If you receive no reply within 14 days, they are deemed to have dissented. If, after serving a further notice requiring action within 10 days, no response is forthcoming, your surveyor will make an appointment on the adjoining owner's behalf so that their interests in the party wall are protected by a third party. Once this has been done and completed, a party wall award will be made in the usual way. At Harrison Clark, we can prepare and serve your notices for you, taking the stress away from you when you're planning your construction works. If you would like some help with your notices, our team of experienced party wall surveyors are here to help. We also offer a 30 minute consultation for £100 including VAT when you can ask us any question in relation to your party wall matters. Please feel free to call us on 023 8155 0051. We look forward to speaking to you.